Hey, what's up my beautiful people? How are you guys doing today? This is Kiko and today we are going to be talking about my least favorite Pokemon of Generation 1. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I was thinking about my least favorite Pokemon of Generation 1, I couldn't really decide of any because I really like Generation 1 Pokemon and I have like many good memories with Gen 1 so I didn't really want to pick any Pokemon and I was kind of like, you know what? This video is kind of a dumb idea. Like, why would I make a video of um, my least favorite Pokemon when I don't really have any? But then I started looking at the list of Pokemon and some of those Pokemon I was looking at, I was like, oh, I just, you know, I brought up these feelings inside of me kind of like oh bad memories and I'm like oh you know these Pokemon like it brought back bad memories you know what I'm saying so I got a list top five least favorite Pokemon this is what the video is about and let's get started so in the number five spot we got coffee slash wheezy and I think you guys can relate to this one those Pokemon when you encounter them and you try to like fight them or capture them they tend to use the move explosion self-destruct and you know when they use that move especially if you're fighting against a trainer they knock out your Pokemon like in one hit you know they just sacrifice sacrifice themselves with an explosion or self-destruct and boom your Pokemon's done they're done and it's just kind of like damn I was about to beat that Pokemon and it especially sucks when you get them down to like 1 HP or something and you're like all right I'm almost done finishing it off and then boom explosion or something or especially when you're trying to like train up a Pokemon and you come across a coffee or wheezing you get them down to like a, a little bit of HP you need one more hit and then boom they explode and both of you are done kind of pointless then you gotta go to a Pokemon Center it's kind of like a waste of time kind of annoying I mean, technically Voltorb and Electrode should be alongside Weezing and Coughing, but I like Voltorb and Electrode. I like their design. I think they look really cool. And I feel like you don't really encounter Voltorb or Electrode as much as Coughing and Weezing. So, I mean, there's the reasoning for that. All right, in the number four spot, we got Jinx. Now, Jinx, when I thought about Jinx, I didn't really have that much beef with Jinx. Like, Jinx isn't really annoying or anything like that. And I don't know, when it comes to, like, playing the games, there's nothing really wrong with Jinx but I guess the thing that I don't like about Jinx is the design you know when you look at Jinx Jinx just looks really creepy overall like you know it looks like a human but like a weird scary human like it could be a Pokemon straight out of a horror movie so it's something like when you wake up and you see this Pokemon staring at you it's not something you want to wake up to like it'll freak you out you know what I'm saying like if Pokemon was real life and you had like a, a cute Pokemon like let's say uh, like a Bobos or a Squirrel next to you you know it's cute it's something Thank you to wake up to but if you wake up and you see Jinx staring at you it's gonna freak you out you know so Jinx don't like it because of its design there's no cool factor there's no cute factor it just looks creepy like so that's why Jinx is the number four spot all right so number three we got Weedle so Weedle is a Pokemon you encounter early in the game you know it's in the Viridian forest and the one thing I don't like about Weedle that really annoyed me is you know you start off the game the Kanto region and you go through Viridian city and then the Viridian forest and when you're in the forest you still have a lot of weak Pokemon and when you encounter a Weedle in the wild or fight it in a trainer battle and it uses poison sneak and it poisons you your Pokemon is pretty much finished at that point you don't have that many Pokemon you probably only have like two or three Pokemon you know and Weedle could pretty much finish off your strongest Pokemon at that point with one poison sneak and after the trainer battle or the wild battle your Pokemon's poisoned and you gotta go all the way back to the Pokemon Center heal it up go back to the forest get poisoned again come back to the Pokemon center back to the forest and it gets kind of annoying you know just going back and forth especially if you don't have that many Pokemon on your team so that is why Weedle is number three because it's quite annoying um, at the beginning of your Pokemon journey and it just kind of wastes your time you know what I'm saying all right so number two number two is a pretty easy choice um, it's actually two Pokemon and it is Zubat and Tentacool and these two are pretty self-explanatory all of us can relate encountering so much Zubat in caves and encountering so much tentacle in the water while you're surfing they are really annoying it's all you see when you are surfing or you're walking through caves and they just get really annoying to look at and I don't know I don't really have anything else to say about them they're just really annoying when they pop up um, you don't get that many experience from fighting them and yeah they're just annoying um, but I don't really hate on their evolutions like I think a uh, crowbat is really cool gobat is all right 
right and Tinta Cruel is all right. All right, now the number one spot. The number one spot, I did not expect to actually put this Pokemon on my list, but when I saw it, oh man, I just, mm. So the number one spot is Chansey. Now, there's a couple reasons for Chansey. Number one is it's really hard to catch in the original games. You go to the Safari Zone, they're really hard to find, and when you do find them, they're really difficult to catch. They run away like on the first ball. So number one reason, they're very hard to find, very hard to catch, and they're not even that great of a Pokemon. So that's the number one reason. The number two reason is, um, well, I play a lot of Pokemon Go. And you know on Pokemon Go, when you take out a gym, a lot of people leave Blissey on there. And Blissey, oh, I hate Blissey because Blissey takes so much time to knock out. And even though Chansey and Blissey are two different Pokemon, Chansey is just as annoying to knock out. So a Pokemon gym with a Blissey and Chansey, both of those Pokemon take so much time to like, you know, defeat and sometimes you spend like minutes and minutes trying to knock these two Pokemon out and then someone comes and revives them and next thing you know it's an hour you know and you're just kind of like getting frustrated like yo I don't want to spend all this time knocking these two Pokemon out like they take so much time and the reason for that is is because they have so much um, HP they're not strong in battling but they have so much HP and it's, ah, it's so frustrating like I don't know it's just frustrating like I don't like both of those Pokemon in Pokemon Go I never use any Chanseys or Blissies I only have one Blissey on my game and I have no Chanseys and I don't even use that Blissey. I never leave a Blissey or Chansey in a Pokemon gym because I hate them so much. I don't want to use them. I want nothing to do with them. I just transfer them and I don't know they just bring back a lot of bad memories of me spending all this time trying to knock them out. If one of these days I wake up having nightmares, sweating, it's because I'm thinking about Chansey or Blissey. And yeah that's the main reason I don't like them is because of Pokemon Go. Um, they bring back a lot of bad memories and well I guess also in the game you know they're kind of hard to catch but that's the reason for my number one <laughs> and yeah i'm gonna stick with that huh did you guys expect that probably not but anyway those were my top five least favorite pokemon of gen one but honestly when it comes down to it i love all the generation one pokemon like i don't really hate them that much i mean this list is kind of like the ones that are my least favorite but i think you know they're also pretty sweet i think they're all pretty cool pokemon except chancy slash pissy human forget them <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, you know, that's the end of this video. Um, what did you guys think of it? Drop a comment, drop a like, drop a dislike, whatever. But yeah, um, let me know what your least favorite Pokemon of Generation 1 is. You know, drop it in the comment section and let me know. Um, is there any Pokemon you hate, strongly hate, or do you love them all? You know, let me know. Drop a comment. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.